Welcome back to the channel. Today I finally have news from HP Tuners about the fan issues. So I've been working on this problem. I actually, I personally haven't been working on it. I've been wanting HP Tuners to add the adjustability or the drop down menu so you could change pulse width modulation frequencies in their tuning software. Because if anybody has ever done an LS swap in anything, and you're trying to get the factory fans to work, it's the same thing as the Hellcat Magnum because I'm having a pulse width modulation discrepancy so it won't turn on the Charger Hellcat fan, but it will turn on the Durango Hellcat fan. So hopefully this update is going to work for me. And it's also gonna help out a bunch of people in the LS community. I know a lot of people really aren't putting Hellcat swaps in much other things than Hellcats right now, but there are more and more people starting to put Hellcat swaps in a bunch of different chassis. So I've seen them in BMWs, 350Zs, and I'm sure they're not able to get those fans to work and they're starting to use aftermarket ECUs. Now HP Tuners is going to be able to, hopefully this is going to work and it's going to be able to control multiple pulse width modulation frequencies on fans and that's exactly what I wanted to do. I didn't want to go and have to reinvent the wheel with doing a whole custom 3D print inch fan shroud because then if anything ever happened, I couldn't get another one. This way I could just go buy a Charger Hellcat or Challenger Hellcat brand new fan from Dodge and if it doesn't come damaged, I could just throw it in the car. So let's update to the next beta version and hopefully this is going to resolve our issues because that is and that has been the biggest issue on the Hellcat, the blue Hellcat Magnum is the fans don't work. So I can't drive her around because if I get stuck at too many lights, then she starts to get hot. So um, I haven't really wanted to drive her. I also have some other parts to get the all-wheel drive system finally working. The drive shaft should be here in the next video. And then we can finally do some 800, 850 horsepower all-wheel drive launches. It's gonna be awesome. Before I go and load the new tune on the Blue Hellcat Magnum and HP tuners, I ended up buying a pulse width modulation generator so I can go and test fans for not just the Hellcat swaps, but other swaps and figure out what the frequency is on these fans because they're pulse width modulated and it doesn't tell you what it is. So now in HP tuners, you should be able to change the frequency and it's either zero to 12 volts or 12 volts to zero volts depending on what fan you have. I just got a little cheap pulse width modulation generator. I think it was like $11 shipped off of eBay. And all I have to do, so I'm at 100 Hertz. I tried it at the 60 Hertz and it wasn't working. But once I got up to 90 Hertz, and this is a newer Hellcat fan. So this is off of a 23 Red Eye. And all I had to do was 100 hertz, and that is what I'm gonna set it in HP tuners. And it looks like we're at 90%, but as we go down with the duty cycle, about 87, oh, no, 86, I think starts it. So that's low speed. I think I could go back to 87. So I think, 86% duty cycle is the slowest speed. And then this thing, it as you go down, this thing ramps up crazy fast. I wonder if it's running backwards. Here, let's go back up. I make, make sure it's turned the right way. I think it was 87. We'll go to 90, I'll shut off. Which way are we spinning? Are we spinning the right way? That is the question. Yeah, we're spinning the right way. Perfect. We're spinning this way, the arrow's this way. That's perfect. So 100 hertz on a Hellcat fan and 89%. So I'm guessing that 89% on this pulse width modulation generator, I'm gonna see if they show what it is, but it 
I would think that it would be zero, close to zero percent would be off, but 89%, I'll look it up really quick and then try to figure out if this is 80, it's, it's low speed at 89% and full speed at close to zero because it's zero to 12 volt instead of 12 volt to zero volt. Pulled out my fluke scope to figure out what the voltage on the pulse width modulation signal was for this pulse width modulation controller. So zero or hundred percent duty cycle is zero volts. And as you go up, as you see right here, we're gonna, or as you go down, I mean, we'll go to 85%. We have 3.4 volts. And as you go down on the duty cycle, the voltage goes up. So now we're at a little bit over five volts. And I think full speed is like six volts. So if anybody was wondering what the pulse width modulation signal is, so 99 to 100 Hertz, it'll actually start at 90 Hertz. And I think it'll go all the way up to 150. We could check it right now. So we'll go to, and the thing is Dodge doesn't give you any of this information. They don't have any diagnostics. So we'll just, in, Increase the hertz range and see when it clicks off. This goes to 150, so there we go right there. And that's our issue with the Durango fan. So we're at 114 hertz, it turned off. 113. So you, you have 90 to 112 hertz is the working range on a Hellcat fan motor. So if your fan isn't working, and you're seeing like I was seeing with the Durango Hellcat, which runs at 150 to 200 Hertz. That's the exact reason why the fans weren't working. Now that I know that, I'll put in 100 Hertz on HP tuners, zero to 12 volt, and the fan should work flawlessly. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come in here and download the new VCM Suite Beta. And it tells you it's a beta version make sure that that beta version is newer or the same as this version right here. It's 5.1.3503.0. And that is going to have the new updated ability to con control the pulse width modulation on pulse width modulated controlled fans. I already have it installed, so I'm going to just hit cancel. Yes, finish. Come over to VCM editor beta right here. It's going to tell you it's a beta version. Use at your own risk. Now I'm going to open a file. And we're going to open the latest version of the tune. And what you're going to be able to do now is usually you have pulse width modulation linear, and that's going to control most pulse width modulated fans. Um, you're going to have this disabled and then down in this drop down menu You now have the ability to control all these different Frequencies of pulse width modulation So before the Durango Hellcat was running at 150 to 200 Hertz But we need to have a hundred Hertz from zero volts on and as you can see down here on the bottom it says Fan pulse with modulation frequency setup. This is a frequency in Hertz that the pulse with fan operate pulse with mod modulation fan operates at and rather the fan speed uses 0 to 12 volts or 12 volts to 0. So um, for 0 to 12 volts, we're going to be 0 on. So I'm going to select this one. If I was 12 volts on, that is going to be 12 volts to zero volts. You can kind of figure that out, but we're going to select that. But now that you can control the pulse width modulation, this is a big step forward. I really wanted them to just put a drop down so you could either have zero to 12 volt or 12 volt to zero volt, and then you just entered what frequency you wanted the ECU to send. But this is by far going to help out a bunch of people. So let's load this on the car and then hopefully everything is resolved with a fan issue, which from the pulse width modulation signal generator 
we already know that this is going to run the fans, which is great. So I went through the wiring because I thought it was probably most likely a wiring issue. And I was jumping the relay in the back. So I checked the fuse, it was good. Jumped the relay in the back. And I was like, man, it sounds like for some reason, the starter is running the coolant pump up front, which made no sense because the coolant pump is on a completely different circuit. So the coolant pump is actually pulse width modulated, but it's not running the coolant pump. It's just the starter has already burned out. So the solenoid that pushes the gear out. So how a starter works is there's 12 volts on it constantly pretty much, but the wire that energizes the starter kicks on the motor and then that solenoid or that armature pushes the gear into the flywheel and that's what starts your car. Well, what I'm hearing is the motor is still good and working and the solenoid isn't anymore. Starter's right there, as you can see, and I've already disconnected the wire that goes to the solenoid. And I thought this was a wiring issue. I can't, this car has 3,000 miles on it. This starter has 3,000 miles, listen. So the starter, see, I thought it was a coolant pump working. But 3,000 mile starter burned out. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to, I should be able to get it out, but I ordered one. Actually, it'll probably come out pretty easy. And then I'll have to put the heat shield back on. But I can't believe this burned out with 3,000 miles. I also used a little bar and a hammer because sometimes when you hit that solenoid, you can actually get it to break free. Sometimes they get, you know, something happens, they get stuck. I'm just guessing that it was, you know, one in a million, bad starter, 3,000 miles, but I have one on order. The only unfortunate thing is, is it won't come in until Monday, and Monday I'll be at SEMA. Unfortunately, the starter in the Hellcat Magnum went out. The car has 3,009 miles, so I've ordered another one, but it won't be here until Monday, and Monday I will be at SEMA for a whole week. So I can't test the fan, but from what I saw, the fan runs, its working range is 90 Hertz to 114 Hertz, which means the Durango Hellcat 150 to 200 Hertz is out of the Hertz range because once I went below that threshold, the fan didn't work, or if I went above the 114 Hertz, the fan didn't work. It makes perfect sense, plus, the voltage was flipped and now that HP tuners has the ability to change frequencies and if it's 12 to zero volts or zero to 12 volts in HP tuners, I know this is going to help a bunch of people out. Uh, it actually took me a bit of time to get them convinced enough to do it because it seemed like it took them a lot of programming to do what they added because I told them probably a month ago and the guy said he was working on it like two weeks prior and he finally just got it to me. So big shout out to HP Tuners to help him, helping me out with this because I'm pretty sure that it's going to work because now we're, you know, the ECU sending 100 Hertz frequency to the fan, which is dead center in that threshold. And then it's zero to 12 volts instead of 12 volts to zero volts, which is going to be perfect. So big shout out to HP Tuners. Like always, I'll put a link in the description for them. And I'm going to end the video here. If you guys are at SEMA, reach out to me. If you see me, say what's up. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.